Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video and today I'm going to be showing you how to play Super Mario 3D All-Stars. I know the game has been out for this many months, but uh, yeah, it took me so long since the game wasn't running perfectly for a while um, because obviously it has to emulate inside an emulator already. So it was a lot of work from the Yuzu team to fix all of that. Now it should all be fixed and that's why I'm making this guide now. So uh, yeah, download Yuzu from either their website or from their Patreon if you wanna have Yuzu early access. If you don't have the money for Patreon, check the link down below or join the Discord server if any of the links don't work. Now without further ado, please like, subscribe, comment down below after the video if this worked for you and let's get right in. Okay, so after you've downloaded and installed Yuzu or got Yuzu Early Access from whatever link you want, open Yuzu on your computer. So for me, it's gonna be Yuzu Early Access. And when you launch it, it will show this error. And basically it's saying missing keys. Prod info, AKA the prod keys. Now click okay on this message and you can click yes or no on this. I'm gonna click no for now, but this is normal, don't worry. The first thing we're going to do is go to file, open the Yuzu folder from here. And when we're in here, go to the keys folder. Now this folder should be empty. There could be a automatically generated keys, whatever file, as long as there's no prod keys file in there, uh, your games will not show up, which is why the error popped up. So what you want to do is actually get the prod keys file and you want to put it in the keys folder. Now, after we click out of this, we're gonna set up Yuzu further before we restart it because we're already in Yuzu anyways. So remember to restart Yuzu either now or before you try running the game. I'm gonna do it after. So as this big text suggests, you gotta double click to add a new folder to the game list. So the folder where your game is in. If it's a .xei, you are good. If it's a .rar or .zip, you first gotta extract it with uh, a program like WinRAR or 7-Zip and uh, yeah after that it will be a .xei and it should show up. Now I'm gonna double click and I'm gonna find my Yuzu games folder. Now you can name your folder whatever you want. Now it's not showing up because we didn't restart Yuzu yet but before I do that I want to right click on the Yuzu games folder in Yuzu and make sure I have scan subfolders checked okay. Now what we're going to do is close Yuzu and open it again and our games should be there. All right, so I started it up and as you can see, my games aren't there. That's how simple it is. And what I'm going to do now is set up all the controls and basically everything you need for the best performance. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to emulation and configure. If your Yuzu doesn't look the same as mine, I have the dark colorful theme right here. I don't know if it's the new standard one. If it's not, that's why it looks that way. Now basically here you don't have to do anything. Um, you can try to extend the memory layout if you're having some performance issues. This could be experimental. I'm not sure if they stabilized it uh, or not, but just keep it off for now, just for stability. You can always try it. In some games it might actually help. Now under system, you don't have to do anything basically. If you have multiple people playing on Yuzu, you can add an account here. Watch my Yuzu online tutorial for this. Now under CPU, keep this on auto. And now this is important because under graphics, make sure you have Vulkan enabled because then it's way smoother and it doesn't need a lot of shader cache like OpenGL does. And the little tip that I normally don't give is update your GPU drivers because some things might not work just because of that. So upgrade your GPU drivers. And people with Intel HD, this is not recommended for you. Uh, a dedicated graphics card is recommended. Now I'm not saying it's impossible, but you should probably run on OpenGL and have this to CPU video decoding. Now for everybody else, basically, Choose Vulkan, choose the right graphics card, and keep it on GPU video decoding. Now, for people with a graphics card that has 4 gigabytes of VRAM or more, you can choose the 2x resolution upscaler. And if you want, you can choose FXAA as your anti-aliasing method. And for the rest, you keep all this the same. If you have an ultra-wide monitor, you can 
try forcing it to 21.9 and stuff like that. I'm not gonna screw around with that. Now under advanced graphic settings, kind of keep all of this the same. I'm gonna use a synchronous shader building. If your game starts tripping, try uh, turning this off. And anisotropic filtering, I'm gonna actually keep it on automatic. And this is where you control your audio and choose your audio device. I'm not gonna screw around with that. And this is very important. Now, this is where you set up your controller and what type of controller. So make sure it's connected, so it's green. And here you can choose the type of controller. I always choose Pro Controller. And if your controller itself, so your input device doesn't show up here, Make sure to hit the refresh button on the side. And as you can see, here is my Xbox One controller. Everything is already set up. Um, but I do always like to change the buttons to the actual buttons on the Xbox controller. So I change these, but basically it's already set up. You can turn on or off vibration. If you have a PS4 controller, you can turn on motion and stuff like that. Um, but yeah. Basically, after this, you click OK. You can make profiles and stuff, add more players, but I'm not going to show that now. So, yeah, basically, you click OK and you're ready to play the game. So, all right, future me here. Um, the way to fix the game not launching is to right click it. Either go to remove and remove installed update or go into properties and unchecking this update. So, it's unchecked. OK. Now, if for some reason one of the free games does not launch, um, go to graphics in the same properties tab here and you can change it for only this game, you can change it to OpenGL. But yeah, just make sure this is unchecked, press OK and make sure if it still doesn't uh, launch, try to use GPU normal, but I'm going to choose GPU high and we're going to launch. Okay.